Alright guys, so a couple of days ago we talked about Logan Paul's next boxing match. He recently announced that he'll be fighting Dylan Danis. Yes, it's Danis. I kept saying Danis last time. And ever since Logan made this announcement, Dylan has been going on an absolute Twitter tirade where he's posting Logan's fiance with all these various men who she has allegedly been involved with over the years. And at first it was kind of just funny, okay? He had four or five pictures going on. But at this point, days have passed and the hits just keep on coming. It's like celebrity after celebrity after old man after various uncles of mine. And at this point, guys, I'm really just here to cover the additional carnage because I find this whole situation to be absolutely hilarious. I think for a while, Logan Paul really could kind of control the narrative surrounding his name. For a couple of years there, he was really building up his reputation. But now it really seems like this could all be Logan's third fall from grace. Of course, the first one happens in Japan. The next one was when CoffeeZilla took him behind the barn to try and finish him off like old Yeller. And now Dylan Dennis might stick the fork in this man. So he returns to Twitter and says, Since you want to make bets and you're so confident you're going to knock me out, if I win... You have to make me the best man at your wedding. We need to thank Nina for influencing Jamie Foxx to make one of the best hits of all time, Gold Digger. Here's a picture with her and white guy number 4052. Here Dylan says, let's get checked. Logan is your best man. I advise you to take a kit from her and get checked, brother. And here you could see her doing some type of STD promotion with a dirty looking individual. I mean, what were these two just doing? What's with all the white splatter right here on his hoodie? And the lore gets even deeper, guys. She's made various TV appearances where she said some rather suggestive things. Are there any foods that make either of you gag? Um, my gag reflex is pretty strong. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I have to say, it, okay. it'll take, it'll take, Okay. Take a lot. <laughs> okay, okay. Wait, you went All further. Right. Okay. We're talking about food. I don't even know where we're at right now. <laughs> what are you guys okay. talking about? This category right. I mean, she had my man on the boards pondering back to last night. He goes on to say Logan's gonna thank me one day. He got a lot of people saying what's the over under on this engagement actually going through. Next, he says KSI and Logan's prime company starred after their boxing match. And just like them, after our match, Logan and I are looking to launch a prenup app. Here he posts yet another picture of her. I believe that's with the guy from The Fault in Our Stars. It does seem like from the outside looking in over the course of the last decade or so, this woman is always with whatever celebrity is popping at that time. Like Logan, who the f*** even is this guy? And why does he look so comfortable holding her like that? If my girl has a picture with an old man like this, it's over. I mean, this is just getting crazy at this point, guys. Here he says he's working overtime. Okay, he's got the three KD phones right there. I mean, at this point, I have to think that this man has people out there scouting these pictures, looking through various Getty images. And for Logan Paul, the hits just keep coming. I mean, Logan, who even is this guy? He went on the Nelk podcast and had some choice words for Logan. I just think that Logan has, and now seeing how he's taking this personal stuff, like his mind is not there. What, what have you heard from them on their end? The zone has put a little bit of a trap on me, but there's definitely trouble in paradise. I'm not gonna lie. I was like gonna praise him because like, you know, I'm all about like trans and like LGBTQ and everything. So I was gonna be like, oh, it's awesome. He like has a fiance that's trans. So I thought she was, <laughs> and then I looked it up and it, and it was a girl. And then I started seeing all the stuff. So I was like, oh, she's, shit. she's gorgeous though. Oh my god. That is his words, not mine, YouTube. Do you yeah. feel bad for her? Do you think it's like, like, how do you think it's affecting her? Jake did this to me. I don't know if you remember when me and him were going to fight, when he was saying that he was going at my girl, he was saying he heard this whole thing. So like, it's a double-edged sword. Like, you can't talk all that shit and not be able to take it. That's the worst kind of person. And I actually think this guy so far is doing a great job of actually selling this fight. Because before he started going on this tirade, I really had no idea who he was. I mean, you would hear his name in passing every once in a while. But I promise you all of this is making much more people care about this fight. Like Logan, it now becomes different than just defending your own boxing prowess. Now this is about defending your girl, defending your fiance, defending your future wife. Like if you're Logan, how do you even respond to all of this? Knowing him, he's probably just having a mental breakdown right now. I mean, we all saw how he responded when his ego was damaged by CoffeeZilla at the beginning of the year. And you have to imagine this has all been a way bigger hit to the ego than being called a scammer. 
Like, who are all these people and why do they have so much access to her? I mean, at this point, it's just getting ridiculous, guys. Here she is posted up with the ghost of Woody Allen. He says this is Logan right now fighting for his marriage. <laughs> like, what the f*** is even going on at this point? Why is she playing basketball in a swimsuit? And at this point, this guy is pretty much just giving him the Adam-22 treatment. I mean, it's getting insane, guys. I can't even show you guys the gifs. This woman's tatas are out. Here she is at the sugar factory with Nick Cannon. Just a little side note, did anyone else like never get the concept for this? I hear that when you go here, you spend an arm and a leg. And I have to say, sugar as an adult is one of the most overrated things of all time. Hey, that's not Logan. That's Brogan right there, what the f Oh, now even interdimensional beings are getting in on the action? I mean, we already covered those aliens from last video, but this is kind of a different story. And now he's just directly calling him out, saying, you gonna fight back, Logan? Not fun when the bully gets bullied, is it? Then he says, all your real friends you bullied out of your life. The only person you have left is Yes Man Mike, who just stays around for the cloud. I believe that's absolutely true. Then he says, Logan made all his ex-friends sign NDAs. Something that George Janko has loosely talked about recently. He says he did so, so they wouldn't speak about apparently what happened. And then he says the same ones Jake Paul made James Charles sign. Now, I don't even know what's going on there between, you know, Jake Paul and James Charles, but that would be some breaking news. He says at this point, I think Jake is rooting for me. You won your fight against Nate Diaz and everybody's cheering and, and Logan's sitting there. He looks like a super villain. I, like this, once again, this, does, this feels weird because we go back to puerto rico and we see logan every day this it's like i don't know bro but like did, did you see that that Damn picture said logan's the, the fake logan yeah i didn't I, didn't I just i didn't think it was real <laughs> he said logan was happy for his brother he's an egomaniac but it's like it seems fake but it's not there's yeah, like a video of it too and i just don't get it i, don't, I just can't believe it i don't know it's, it's, just, it's weird it's weird true. it's really weird because even in private like you speak so high, highly of like what you guys like what you want you guys to do and and your plans and like even just exciting things that you want them to be a part of like when you talk about like your ranch you're like oh me and logan this me and logan that like everything you involve him in every single thing you can possibly I, I think the reason i've created like our brotherhood and like having these friends around us because i yearned for it and oh, Lo logan even said it what that's a mic drop right there he said you know i have a brother but he never gave me that brotherhood I mean, I won't lie to you guys, at this point, I would much rather have the career of Jake Paul than Logan Paul. I mean, I feel like Jake, he can make light of things. He can kind of take it on the chin when someone kind of tests his ego. And on the other hand, Logan just gives me more like sociopath vibes. And I do think that Logan can be envious of Jake's career because at this point he has accomplished all this stuff in boxing and not just business like Logan has. And he's just kind of carved out his own lane away from more or less just being an influencer. I mean, when you can't feel happy for your own flesh and blood and their accomplishments, what does that really say about you? Like, I saw this clip where he was so mad at Jake Paul because during his last fight with Nate Diaz, he would not let Logan bring in this bottle of Prime for his shameless advertisement he's constantly trying to do. And his reason for this absolutely made sense. One of his main sponsors and one of the main sponsors for the event was also a beverage company, so why would they want Prime around? It would be like an event being sponsored by Netflix, and someone wants to come around advertising with their Hulu shirt. Like, it's just not gonna fly. Oh my god, there she is with Ezra Miller, whatever the f*** that creep's name is. Not the Flash, man, not the Flash. He says, this guy's built like my refrigerator, she's there holding his hand. Yeah, another guy, okay? I mean, it's just getting insane. Here he says, I wonder whose 40th birthday it was. And I can't even show you guys the rest of this image because all she has on is uh, two party hats, like the one she's wearing on her head, the one Pikachu wears. And that's all she has, one on each Tata. Celebrating the big 40, I guess she came out of the cake. And Logan's only response to this yesterday was to say, I made sure the backup fighter will be there in case Dylan doesn't show up to this press conference. I mean, is that all you can run with at this point, that he has flaked out in a couple of his last fights? Just within the burn atmosphere, I would say Logan is getting absolutely dismantled. I mean, this stuff is crazy, guys. Oh, not Tommy Lee! It's like that one song, I've been everywhere, man, I've been everywhere. Like, at this point, she's not for the street, she's for the whole species. Like, Logan, who the f*** is this, dude? 
He then says Logan Paul has reported me for targeted harassment on this platform. He's trying to get my account banned. I really can't believe this guy is the biggest pussy I've ever seen. He can't make this stuff up. I mean, I won't lie, Logan does seem like the type of guy to try and silence any sort of criticism that's been levied against him. I know when anyone within his uh, Twitter comments says anything about CryptoZoo at this point, it's just an immediate block. He then goes on to say, everything's public, my G. Not my fault your girl got ran through. You got a problem? Handle it. October 14th, live on pay-per-view. And yeah, can you really get mad at someone for just posting up pictures that are readily available to the public? It's the same thing that I think when people get mad about my videos. I'm like, these are all things that people willingly chose to post themselves. I'm just putting it on display. I'm just mashing it up into one video. I mean, this is crazy, guys. She's out here posting with humans that don't even look like they're real, okay? This guy looks like AI. And her bikini is made of nothing but whipped cream. I mean, I don't even know what to say at this point. Here she is with that man Riff Raff. Just another creepy old man. I'd rather be like naked in front of like 100 people than like act right now. <laughs> another random white man. Another random white man. <laughs> and even that man Bill Nye got in on the action. I sucked the d in a football stadium full of people once. <laughs> How does this stuff even exist? And this is pretty funny. This person says, this girl has had anxiety issues. I mean, she just admitted that she sucked in a very public football game. And here is this guy publicly harassing her online. Is the law so feeble to let someone like Dylan go overboard like this? Does this not deserve to be canceled? Like this guy is just posting up already readily available public images, public information, public interviews, and you're gonna be upset with him? I mean, there's people out here that literally want someone to go to jail for trolling on Twitter. But yeah, guys, for now, this really does all just seem like the never-ending nightmare of Logan Paul. Y'all let me know what you guys think about all this information down below. Will Logan ever recover from this? Will the engagement go through? As always, I do wanna thank you guys for watching today's video, dropping a like and subscribing. But as you guys know, it's been your boy, the Tan Superman, and some other Twitter beef out here needs to be covered. So I'm out. Peace.